What's going on guys? Welcome back to Complete Tech Crew. Today we're going to be taking a look at and unboxing um, the Klein Tools Tradesman Pro Tool Station Backpack with Worklight. I purchased this bag like maybe a year and a half to two years ago. I know you like you purchased it and you didn't use it. No, I didn't use it. I kept it in plastic, put it on the shelf. It, for the, it was for the purpose of storing my meters and stuff like that. I still have those in one of my video bags and I have plans on transferring it to this because I'm doing a lot of work where I'm going up to rooftops and taking care of AC units and stuff like that. So I absolutely um, am going to love having and utilizing this. I did um, kind of play around with it and look at it in the store and it is absolutely built phenomenal. So Klein, uh, a big pound to you on that one and a uh, thumbs up to you on that one because this one is built. This is knockout. This is just like the other Tradesman Pro that I have. Um, the thicker version with the removable insert that is a knockout bag too that is, bag is absolutely flawless and this is another one that you guys did really well so uh, knockout on that one um i'm trying not to rant and rave and make this video so long so let's go ahead and uh, get this thing open and uh get right to the point so first first initial impression off this again like i was just saying a couple seconds ago is the build quality guys so if i can give you a, a part number i'm gonna go ahead and get that to you right now it is 55655. Five, five. Again, that's 55655. Five, five, five. Just a quick part number from uh, Client Tools. Um, you will find these in your local distributor. I have not seen them at all in any of the Home Depots in my region or when I travel. So I do not believe that they are there. So guys, check out your local distributors. I can't preach that enough about building a relationship with local distributors. They love us. They appreciate us coming in there. You're keeping the money local. You're building positive uh, uh, relationship, positive vibes, and, and building a uh, a great environment around each other, you know, building a great circle and a, a great you know, culture and brotherhood there. So uh, almost like a neighborhood as well. So you can communicate with each other. You'll know when releases are coming out. And oftentimes more than not, they will have better pricing, better promotions, and they get a lot of exclusive content that Home Depot doesn't. So you have to search online at Home Depot and you don't get to feel it, play around with it, um, get introduced to it and know the tool until you order it. So there's a lot of pros. There's tons of pros to dealing with your local distributors. And then they welcome everybody. Oftentimes they're not, we're told or we believe that they don't welcome the public, but that's not true in every case. They're open to business. They're just open to good business. They want, they want to build relationships and have you continue to walk through that door. In and around my region, and even when I travel, I always make it a point to go try to visit the distributors and uh, shake hands and get to know them, and, uh, or not get to know them, excuse me, but learn a little bit more about them. And we learn about each other and then it just always ends up great. And you almost make a friend and a business partner for life. So think about that, guys. Always positive vibes out there. Put positive vibes in the universe and it's going to provide it back tenfold in abundance. So sorry about that rant. Again, um, some of the features on this, I'll fire it off to you guys. It has 21 pockets. Again, I know you like 21 pockets, but remember, this is larger. It's more robust. So it's designed for, for me and my thought for a lot of my meters and testers from category meters and testers, power meter um, testers. Um, to certifiers, things in that nature, even oftentimes fiber. I'll throw a lot of that stuff in here depending on my application. So any sensitive thing like that or any larger thing like that with cords and cables, anything that can get nicked, marred, or damaged. Okay, guys? And then uh, it just goes over some of the specs right here. It has the 1680D ballistic weave, so that is extra padding, back padding for carrying comfort, adjustable chest and lower straps for a customized fit, front zipper pocket for small items, Side elastic pouch for water bottle, which is pretty good. Elastic loop, holds magnetic light, which a light, I believe, is included inside. And then it goes on with some other specs. The light that it comes with, um, it will run at, on six hours at 235 lumens and for 12 hours at 100 lumens. So I, I didn't get it for the light. You know, I don't even really pay attention to the light. So I guess that's cool that it's there. Good job to you on that one, Klein, but it wasn't the reason why I purchased this bag. So just, uh, you guys, this bag is built phenomenally. Uh, again, Klein, man, I, I tip my hat to you guys on that, going back to the drawing board and manufacturing some incredible bags. And again, if I didn't state, I think this bag has been out quite a while, maybe two, maybe three years. Don't mark me on that. I'm not 100% sure. I just know I bought it roughly a year and a half to two years ago. Has this knife pocket in the front. This, the, the, just like the sheen and the gloss on this black is just, and this orange, the contrast is just, just fantastic. I don't even think I really want to take this nowhere. I just want to look at it. But enough of that. Sorry about that. Um, then you got your, your pocket up front. 
Nice little deep pocket up front, pens, pencils, bits, what have you. Same thing here, you put, you know, put a very small tablet, a little handheld device there, drop your phone in there. Has a very, very nice durable padding on there. These hasp here, these buckles here for, uh, you know, stretching some stuff out there. So let's go around to the back. As uh, these straps, these straps are like the feel on this. It's just, it just gives you such a feel, uh, uh, such a sense of confidence and it steals a lot of confidence in you. The stitching and the webbing is 10 times better than I've seen on any other Klein bag. So you guys really stepped it up. And shouts out to you, Klein. Very, very, very good job. I'm extremely, extremely impressed. So giving you guys the uh, the model pose on this bag, kind of turning it around. And let's go ahead and tear, tear open the, um, the main compartment here. And there you have it. Now, this is kind of what sold me on it. How this part lays flat without TPing or tipping the bag over. There's no way that this bag is going to tip over like that. Not unless you hit it or you're resting something against it. You just have your uh, simple storage pockets here. You got four here. They're, they are deep. So you can get some linemans in there. You can get some um, some of your, some compression tools, some crimp tools, anything like that. With an elongated handle or elongated shaft, you can get in there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Don't eat that. Um... Oh, there goes the light right there. Yeah, it's a cool little light. I've seen these on the shelf before. So um, I'm not disappointed. And it's always good to get a little extra. Oh, yeah, it's still lighting up after all that time. Good job, Klein. Dope. So, yeah, you have a nice hand all the way in there. Very nice pocket there. Very nice size pocket there. Very nice size pocket there. And then, of course, for all your tools, utensils, a couple of fork spoons or whatever, because I know I'm always eating all the time. And, um... I gotta have me some snacks and stuff. So there, I always look for a pack that has some snack storage because I gotta have something with me at all times. And it has a nice little base down here. Um, and then what I do like about what Klein does is they leave space. They leave about an inch, an inch and a half of space below here, if you see where my hand is down there. And that portion to snug up like a drill or, or any type of power tool, you can snug that up in there and utilize this space as opposed to compressing those pockets in as so as such excuse me and uh losing space or losing uh precious volume you know or storage space so this bag and these pockets are, are stitched flawlessly it has such a great uh, support in here and it doesn't feel like uh, cardboard it feels like that probably propylene plastic i had a um a milwaukee uh rolling tote way before a lot of the pack out stuff came out and um it was built well on the outside but I take it to the airport a couple times, which is my mistake, and uh, it just shredded apart. And then once it finally came apart, you just rip out this thick cardboard type material, and it kind of got wet and it just started to decay. And I was just like, "What is this?" And that was a two hundred dollar bag. So I know that Klein, I know that Klein, I can feel it how flexible it is. It's actually a polypropylene, so this thing is gonna last uh, and uh, stand withstand the test of time. So thank you for this one, Klein. Very good looking bag. Very likable bag, guys. Um, I'm going to load it out and then I'm going to get some pictures and B-roll footage of me doing that and try to make another video where they load it out. Great bag, guys. Great stitching, great material. This right here, if you were wondering, this is to um, go ahead and store and secure your uh, light that it came with. And if you were wondering what the um, part number on this flashlight was, it is 56028 and it is flash uh, it is flashlight with work light. And that's what it's called. It's, it has a magnetic base for hands-free illumination. So that is pretty cool, guys. IP67 and a 10-foot drop rating. So it is a nice light. So I might actually be able to utilize that. And it has a pin clip for uh, or a shirt clip. So that's pretty cool, guys. So that is a plus. You know, I wasn't being uh, pessimistic or negative about it. But my, the main attraction is absolutely the bag. So uh, you have all of this flat space right here. And you know you got your extra storage here i really like how this bag's designed i really do and i do the most important feature to me is that it stands up itself so nice sides a nice feel you can really get this thing really loaded so if you guys are looking for a bag and not looking for one that's so cramped that has more uh a cargo volume for you for lack of better words this is the bag for you because you definitely have the space here and you'll definitely have the real estate up here once this is closed that's why i pointed this out is there's nothing going to be at the top except for elongated handles from your hand tools. So you can definitely store bigger tools here and get going with it. I've always exceeded the weight limit on most of my Klein bags. 
and they have never squealed, never screamed, or never complained. And I know this one will do the same. This bag is absolutely beautiful. And highlighting the side, uh, I'm gonna point out right here, of course you have your, um, your clip or hasp for your tape measure. This thing is rock solid. It's not the cheap flimsy crap like you see on some of the other bags. And I'll try to bring that in on you up, up close to you guys. And you also have your tape holder with, with, with it's riveted and stitched very well. I'm pulling the crap out of it right now. Nothing's gonna collapse there. And a, a very, very durable and a actually a larger profile tape measure clip. So it's actually gonna affix to there. And the density is thicker as well. So good job on that one, client. And another highlight, guys, just to sell this even more to you guys, and I'm sorry for you other fellow junkies and uh, enthusiasts out there who don't need to just get have any more issues with this. But this bottom is like a woven, durable, I'm not even sure the material. And I think this might be that 1680 that they're talking about. This is impenetrable because I have this material. So uh, just give me some time to get that video out because I, I, I don't even want to get this thing dirty. I just want to, this thing is sucking it. Oh, this is going to make me speechless. I love this bag. So... Um, think about that, guys, and uh, consider this bag if you are uh, considering investing in a new bag or trying to get a new EDC going. This would be the bag for you. I absolutely love this bag. It has plenty of pocket space, plenty of room for your tools, but more importantly, plenty of room for meters and larger tools like drills, drill drivers, impacts. You, you might you may be able to fit a small little uh, Sawzall from Milwaukee in here, the little M12 line. You can definitely fit some stuff like that in here. Get yourself changed out and get going wherever you got to go. This bag, these type of bag, backpack bags, a lot of people make jokes about them and laughing at uh, laughing at the guys. And those are normally the older guys who are still carrying tool bags, you know, by the handle and stuff like that. To each their own. I prefer a backpack. I always prefer a backpack because that keeps my hands free. It keeps me safe, keeps others safe, and it um, helps me stay more mobile. I can carry a lot more stuff as opposed to carrying stuff, handles and stuff like that with handles and stuff like that. And my tools are enclosed and protected and I can watch my stuff. So uh, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was informative and help helpful. I'm trying to um, continue to grow the channel. Again, as of today, I'm at roughly 600 subscribers or getting close to that. And I'm very appreciative to all you guys. So if you can, whoever's watching and hasn't subscribed, if you value this content and appreciate it, I'm going to stay consistent and content keeps coming. So please consider subscribing. That's going to help me beat up the YouTube algorithm, continue to grow, and uh, continue to get better so I can get you guys better content, better product, and we can dive deeper into a lot of those German tools. I want to get into um, to the Wira brand, and I want to get into the Knipex for you guys. Some of those really, really premium tools that I'm that I'm chasing and I'm after. But that's only going to happen if I have the support of everybody. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you so much for rocking with me so far. Everybody who's been with me for, since day one, I greatly appreciate it. I got merch coming. I'm getting it all designed and pressed up now. I just don't want anything run of the mill or cheap. I'm working on something quality that you'll be proud to wear, uh, proud to own, and uh, proud to represent. You know, because that's what we're about here at Complete Tech Crew, positivity being optimistic and just great vibes. And again, you know, my statement and my motto is if we throw good things and good vibes and good energy, good words out there to the universe, the universe is going to return it back to us times a million. So thank you so much, guys, for rocking with me. Please don't forget to subscribe. It's very, very important and it's paramount for my growth and success and our growth and our success. I consider you guys a part of the crew. Appreciate you guys. And if you can, if you had the time, and if you have Instagram, please consider following, comment, liking, and sharing there. Thank you so much, guys. Peace.